All right, now I was contemplating on whether or not I should make this video because I honestly feel that after I make this video, it may have an impact in the Lost Ark economy and how players approach the game and maybe I'll have an influence on what players decide to do. But I'm just going to tell you what I think is going to happen and what I'm doing and why I think you should not be upgrading your gear in Tier 3. All right, so... Without further ado, let's get into it, and hopefully you can follow me along here. I know many of you may have not reached Tier 3 yet, or you're on your way to Tier 3, but this also affects you in Tier 2 content. Now, if you look at my gold, I'm currently sitting at 86,000 gold, and the amount of gold that is circulating the economy right now is pretty crazy. There's a lot of inflation going on, and in my opinion, that's due to a couple of things. It's due to the printing of gold from the welcome challenge where players are just earning gold from doing various things in the game, whether it be you're upgrading your gear. Um, also, you're getting gold from your affinity-based stuff where you're just getting free gold from different characters in the game depending on who you are talking to. Additionally, there's probably bots that exist in the game uh, inflating the economy, and there's no real way to spend gold at the current point in time, which is why I recommend that a lot of people, if you watched All Craft, I told many players to invest your gold in blue crystals because it was a good deal. And since then, the price of blue crystals has doubled, but it's still never a bad deal to buy blue crystals with your gold, which by the way, I have not bought in any gold whatsoever. I've only bought in blue crystals. I have not bought any of them. Uh, not buying any gold whatsoever because that's a bad deal, but it's a good deal to invest your gold into blue crystals because the price of blue crystals is going to continue to rise over time. In Korea, on my Korean account, the price of per 100 blue crystals is at around 1,700 gold. So it's about three times, more than three times what it is now. Never a bad time to buy them. However, I also believe that it is a bad idea to upgrade your character. Many people are buying up materials in tier two and in tier three at ridiculous prices. You can see that the price of these leap stones here are around 298 with the pat with the price of the previous five days uh, at 324, and it's slowly going down each and every day. The average price of these leap stones is going down over time because more people are hitting tier three which is why i think it's wise of you to sell your materials and then buy them back later but we'll talk about that in a second what is happening is that there are players that are buying gold that don't really know how the game works or, they're, or they just don't care and they're trying to rush their i don't know the 1370 however i am not doing that and i am sitting at 1325 and i will sit here at 1325 and slowly upgrade my gear while i sell all of my materials and only use my bound materials and selling my unbound or tradable materials, which I talked about in my gold video that you may have seen or it may have already been released at this point, depending on when you're watching this video. Why I think you should not use this and not worry about upgrading your gear is that I believe, based on what we've seen in the past and based on some of the gear upgrade rates that we currently have if i go to some of the gear and we look at the current upgrade rate of a lot of the gear in tier 3 content whether it be the sunset gear or if i look at the solar gear that will come from argos if we look at the upgrade rates we're at 15 percent on plus 12 and we even have 10 percent upgrade chance at plus 15. And if I look at the solar gear, maybe you've seen this gear, this uh, Argos gear uh, by the Russian Pro video. I won't get into it. Maybe you've seen that where he says you can upgrade the gear to plus 25. In our version, this gear is capped at plus 20, which is very, it's very, very clear with these upgrade rates, the amount of materials that are circulating in the game in general and um, being capped on upgrades, it's very clear that Smallgate and Amazon don't want players getting too far ahead, which is what they had initially done in the initial implementation of Tier 3 in Solar Gear. If you're not following me here, it's fine. This gear used to be able to go to plus 25, and players used to be able to get to 1475, and they realized that that was a mistake. They had said that was a mistake, and they shouldn't have done that. And it left so much, there's a huge gap in content, which is why we had four Legion raids within a single year. They're capping that off, trying to prevent players from getting too far ahead from the players where a majority of players are currently in tier one and tier two content. What I expect to happen 
is that with the idea of wanting to release Argos in the next month and a half, I expect to see another buff to the Welcome Challenge or an extension of the Welcome Challenge. We have already seen a buff to help players progress through different tiers to this, giving players a ton of mats, assisting them on their journey. We even have 150 rocks for killing the first Guardian Raid, which you would have, this is an insane amount of materials for defeating a single Guardian Raid. We have things like called Hyper Express in Korea. Uh, where you get some materials, but not on this level of materials for doing a simple task as clearing 100 Guardian Raids, uh, clearing a Guardian Raid, getting 150 uh, rocks. If you look at how much gold that really is, it's 150 of these guys. I mean, that is a ridiculous amount of gold, correct? I expect them to either buff that or what I do expect is them to go back on the patch notes that they had released previous to the release of Lost Ark. They said it was a mistake where they released these patch notes, which shows us the post nostalgia update where uh, they give you 100% upgrade rates in tier one and in tier two, and they let you jump two upgrades each time you upgrade. And they also in that patch note showed that they were gonna buff the upgrade rates of tier three. I believe that to potentially be just a down the road patch. I think with the issues going on in Europe, Argos will be delayed a little bit and they're going to give a lot of people some time to get there and they will help you get there for free. And if I'm wrong, and in the worst case scenario that I'm wrong about this, which I don't think I am, but if I am wrong and you do follow my advice, it's fine. No matter what, if you're selling your materials, these rocks will not be worth what they're being sold for as more people get to tier three. They just won't. The price of these materials, that's why I'm selling everything, on Korea, in Korea, each one of these rocks are about 19 gold per. Now, will they be 19 gold per here? No, but there's going to be a lot of them circulating. That's going to severely drop the price of all of these upgrade materials, making holding them or using them a complete waste as you can just buy them back later at probably a fraction or a quarter of the price. And that's four times in your mats. So that is what I'm going to be doing. That's my prediction. Who, what am I? Who do I? What do, you know, what do I know? You don't have to listen to me. But, you know, those of you that do want to take my advice, there it is for you. And you're wondering, well, what do I do with the gold? Invest it in blue crystals or invest it in your alts. That way you have more characters at tier three or tier two. So you can make even more gold. And, and with that being said, what do you do in the meantime? You do the things that I've been telling players to do on my stream for a long time. Work on your island hearts so that you can collect and earn skill potions that you probably have been neglecting this whole time. Work on your giant hearts so you can collect and earn more skill potions. Work on collecting your runes so you can unlock them for another class that might come down. A lot of you have been asking me, I want to play Lance Master. What should I be doing to work, you know, help out my Lance Master? And that's collecting runes, unlocking skill points, attending island events, and getting card packs to help out that class when it is finally released. That's what I recommend that you do. Work on your, your characteristic personality virtues, these stats, so that you can work with some of the better NPCs uh, like Nia or Nina V, which... My boy Zeals has an amazing guide or just like a breakdown of all that stuff when it comes to affinity. I'll have that I'll have that link down below. That's what you should be doing in the meantime. You should not be doing this eye level race because it's capped. Argos isn't even out. And even if Argos does come out, the amount of gold that you get paid from doing Argos P1 is so little that you're better off just selling the mats right now, collecting the gold, and then waiting for uh, Vaulton. You don't need the legendary accessories that will come off of Argos. You want the artifact accessories. A lot of people make this mistake in getting accessories and worrying about them now. You're going to replace these so quickly, but what you won't replace when it comes to tier three, what you won't replace are the artifact or the orange, not the legendary, but the artifact, the relic accessories, those you won't replace for over a year. And those are the ones that you care about. If all of that went over your head, no worries. I just wanted to put this information out there on the internet so that I can assist some of you uh, that are looking for some advice. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. If you have any questions, you can find me at my live stream somewhere here on the screen, and I'd be more than willing to answer questions there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.